this is Paul Acevedo with Mobile Nations. David Brook, I'm the creative director at Homunculus. I'm Griffin Myers, I'm the lead game designer at Homunculus. And what game are you guys working on right now? This is called Zato. It's a mobile slash em up kind of like uh, Infinity Edge if you're blind, so the main character is a blind man and the slashes are meant to be sort of like sonar and you draw different patterns, you have different techniques that you can use. Your attacks build up poise, which is the meter at the bottom, and the point is to basically just survive as long as you can, the endless onslaught of enemies. Slashes will be different colors based on their power and uh, the technique you have to draw to defend yourself. So you can draw with different techniques, you said? Yeah, different techniques depending on the color. The boost strokes, you can draw a V, which is a, a kill stroke, and then if you wait, too soon, if you wait, you die. How many different moves are there? There's going to be four in the end and special abilities, but so far we only have three. The basic premise is that the longer they're attacking you and you block them, the longer they'll accumulate power. Uh, so an enemy will start out with a blue slash, that's a weak slash. The more you, you passively block, that's a single slash against them, the more they'll accumulate power and then you'll see they'll start to turn yellow. Let's see. Now once it's yellow, you can't do the V formation to kill it anymore. You have to do a spiral formation to break it down to a blue so that you can then later kill it. Sounds pretty complicated, but it's actually pretty simple once you get into it. Is this an endless game? This uh, mode is, yeah, it's called survival. But eventually there's going to be a story mode with boss fights. We're also going to be uh, juicing up the visuals quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could use a prettier background, right? <laughs> Well, what we'd like to have is animations of um, basically the silhouettes of the enemies you're fighting. We'd like to have, you know, a figure drawing a slash. That's a good idea. We actually have that feature in development. It's just nowhere near ready for, for demoing yet. It's time consuming and it's hard to, you know, get it right. What did you guys use to make this game? Cocos 2D. How long have you been working on it? Since January of last year, I think. So it's, it's been approaching a year. Uh, none of that has been very uh, intense development time, though. We've been sort of maintaining full-time jobs while working on it. So um, actually, only recently have we really buckled down to try and push this to completion. And this is your studio's first game. Yeah. yeah. We have a couple more in development, but this is the one we're really focusing on first. This will be the first one we release. Uh, Hopefully we'll have this ready within a few months, and uh, it'll be available both on the uh, iOS App Store and uh, Google Play. And Play Android. You are going to launch it simultaneously? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what kind of payment model will you use? We just want to charge 99 cents and just have it be a complete game. We don't really believe in in-app purchases. We might change well, that. For, well, we might we'll do see. content, but not the kind of thing like uh, where you just you know spend a dollar for something that you have to pay continuously. I have a problem with uh, I, I have ethical objections to what I call renewable in-app purchases, which are you know paying basically to to continue playing the game, paying for time to play it. Um, so we might do something like 99 cents for an extra special ability. Uh, or something like that. That's reasonable. But never pay for something that makes the game easier, because that's not what games are. Yeah, the, I think a lot of the games that are out there capitalizing on the freemium model are doing it wrong, they're doing it unethically, and they're promoting bad practice, bad gaming. I think, I think it harms the spirit of gaming. Yeah. So, we'll I can't disagree. <laughs> and when did you say you were planning to release this? In spring. Spring? Spring of this year.